What's going on card family? Back at you with another video and tonight I have a 20 card Peyton Manning CMC order to show you guys. This is one of three orders. I'm still waiting on the other two to come in. So without further ado, let's get right into this. A bunch of really nice inserts in this and one thing that I notice is the invoice is on this receipt thing. Normally they would just send the paper with all the cards that you got. Doesn't really matter. Just something I noticed. But this first card is very unique. I just thought it was a normal card when I ordered it. This is a 2000 from Topps Tunnel Vision. When I first received this card, I was like, wow, this is, this is a jumbo. And then I took it out and realized that it actually opens up, which is just amazing. Peyton Manning, the offensive line. This was, of course, before Jeff Saturday. Has a really nice glossy picture texture. Just a really cool looking card. I'm starting to really get into jumbo cards, so I was really happy that's what that was. So we'll start with the, the oldest, then we'll get to the newest. This first card is a 2000 Tops Stadium. Nice clean card. Then we have a 2000 Pacific Trading. AFC Leaders. Nice orange, kind of looks like it's on fire. Then we have a 2000 Playoff Momentum Generations. Love this glossiness. Just has a really slick look to it. Then we have a 2002 Fleer, Yard Markers, Peyton Manning, Box Score. I actually have a card just like this, but the Y is actually a relic, which is pretty cool. 4,131 passing yards in 2001. Really nice card. Then we have a 2002 Fleer, Career Highlights. Nice simplistic card, love the back, the black. Looks really nice. Then we have a 2002 Pacific Trading inside the numbers. Heads up. Can you guys see me? Nice mirror. I can use this when I'm shaving. Then we have a 2002 Pacific Trading exclusive. 2002 etched in stone now it was funny because when I was looking at this card I was like damn all these cards are all crinkled up and and everything but it turns out that's actually the effect and I just realized that when I got it I was like okay let me just get this one but really nice effect looks like he's being chiseled out of a rock and we have a 2002 exclusive Peyton Manning exclusive advantage. Another mirror card. Beautiful gloss. I have an appreciation for glossy cards. Then we have a 2003 Flare Skybox. Flare Showcase. Nice gray border. Really love that. Check out that triple threads just shining back there. Then we have a 2003 Upper Deck. Then we have a 2003 Don Russ. Gridiron Kings. Growing Moment. Peyton Manning kind of looking creepy there, like a has like an oil painting look. Really card nonetheless. Then I mentioned in I think it was like two videos ago. This is a 2003 All American. I showed you guys the base and I mentioned that I have the uh, the glossy All American. Well, this is it. 
Beautiful gloss, has some thickness. Really nice card. Just love that. Then we have a clean 2004 Fleer. I have an all white one. This one has the blue shine. Hot Prospects NFL. Then we have a 2004 Don Russ playoff. Trent Green and Peyton Manning from Prestige. League Leaders. AFC. Then we have a 2007 Upper Deck. The National. VIP. Nice gray look to it. The smoky look. Then we have 2008. Carson Palmer, John Kitna, Kate Manning, Matt Hasselbeck. Nice league leaders card. Whoops. Then we have a 2008 Tops. Kate Manning. Nice green with a slight thickness. 2011 Panini. Certified. Looks like rays of light shooting out of him. Nice red. And then last but not least, we have this 2014 totally certified. Really nice design. Nice silver shine. So after those 20 editions, that officially puts my Peyton Manning count at and we're getting closer to 2,000 Peyton Manning. So I appreciate you guys watching. See you guys soon. Peace.